Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick video on some of the things I know that can help with sciatica. So if you've been listening to my videos, maybe you know that occasionally my wife has suffered from sciatica pain and typically that's when she's pregnant, as a matter of fact. So there's a lot of things we've learned that can actually help her with sciatica pain and sciatic, the sciatic nerve. So one of the things we plan on making a video about coming soon is chiropractic care. So typically, uh, chiropractic care, if you go see a corrective chiropractor, which in that field, there's only 5% of people in the chiropractic field that are corrective chiropractics, um, that could benefit quite a bit. For me, um, my first experience with chiropractic, I'll get into that some other time basically, but it wasn't that great, but I stuck with it and I've seen corrective chiropractic people for pretty much the entire time I've seen corrective, I mean had correct, uh, chiropractic care, and I definitely would suggest that. So there's also some supplements out there that I've heard of that can benefit that. As far as nerve health goes, I usually suggest that people should be taking B vitamins for nerve health and the B complex altogether needs to be taken if you're taking Bs because they work like a good baseball team and they need to all be together. So definitely suggest B complex vitamins, probably a 100. I like taking a B complex probably once or at least twice. I used to take it two or three times a day, but now it looks like I do it more like one or two times a day. And I think that's just a part of my health journey that I've been doing more corrective uh, internal functioning things to help with balancing out my body and help my body correct itself so that I think I am leading, needing less supplements. Um, anyways, another one, another way that uh, sciatic pain could be reduced or eliminated rather quickly is if you have a tennis ball, it's possible that you could use that on the opposite side because basically they say that sciatic nerve pain is due to uh, misfiring of your nerves and the signals getting blocked. So that's another reason why I first did acupressure or acu acupuncture was because I wanted my wife to do it, but guess what? She wouldn't go sticking needles in herself. But I thought it was an amazing experience. I would definitely do that for acu, or I mean, I would do acupuncture for pretty much any kind of issues that I have. Like I remember I did do it for sleeping that first visit because like I said, it could have helped my wife if she was at all open to that, but she wasn't, but maybe in the future, maybe she will be. So other than uh, that, <clears throat> I would also suggest there are some homeopathic remedies out there. Uh, there's one that's like called BSP, which is back pain sciatica or BPS, something like that. But it's from the King's line, Dr. King's, I believe. And I've got tons of people that tell me that works wonders for them. So that may benefit you. And probably the uh, another one that is going to be the most beneficial would most likely be uh, colon cleansing, like coffee enemas. And a lot of you may already have heard this story, but the basics of me beginning to do coffee enemas was because they, I had someone tell me they got rid of their sciatic pain through doing coffee enemas. And I am so grateful for having started that because I have corrected so many other things in my body like I had tons of gallstones liver stones got rid of parasites and I'm still getting rid of parasites like every other day that I had zero symptoms for I had no idea I was suffering from parasites I've got higher better energy levels than I ever had that I can remember I don't feel as much fatigue I don't feel as sluggish and I mean I feel great um some of these parasites that I'm eliminating look like Sarlax from uh, Star Wars. If you remember those, those were the things that were stuck on the outside of the Millennium Falcon when they were in that swamp place. Anyways, moving on. Um, the last thing I would suggest you check out in this would be uh, Dr. Eric Berg's video on acupressure techniques for sciatic pain. And like I was saying, the tennis ball on the opposite side could be beneficial. Um, this is kind of the same deal, but you might need someone else to help you. And it just involves working that sciatic nerve from the top down to the bottom. Uh, and I've done that for my wife and it helps extremely fast. So the other thing is that I, there's one last thing I guess that I would suggest just Put your hands on them 
and let your own body's healing energy touch into these people and let them be healed through touch. And it sounds like either uber spiritual or very new agey or anything like that. But since sciatica is an energy dysfunction kind of deal, then your own body's energy could help complete those circuits and stuff like that. So I, I probably, if I heard this video myself years and years ago, would just be like, this guy's hokey. I'm not going to listen. I'm turning this off right now. But I mean, there's this other line out there of uh, traditional Chinese medicine called Shin Jin Jitsu, which has tons of these energy techniques that you just put your hands in specific areas and you can correct energy flows for whether it's people dealing with stroke, whether it's people having a heart attack or, you know, a lot of these other nerve and energy problems. Sure, some of those were not started by energy, but they can be corrected through energy. And if you don't think we're electrical beings or you don't believe in any of that, then defibrillators wouldn't work if we're not electrical. Anyways, uh, that's all I want to really share with this quick video all about the um, sciatic nerve issues. I'll try and throw some uh, videos up at the end or links at the description and subscribe, like, share. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Stay healthy.